Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Samantha and my name is Sophia. We're the SNS Girls. Today is Friday, October 16th, 2020. You are watching the best student news program in the galaxy. Ooh. Parents, we want to remind everyone that the plan for our district is to return to in person. Running on Monday, October 26th, we are going to start with pre-K and kinder on the first day. On Tuesday, October 27th, first and second graders will return to FME. On Wednesday, the 28th, our third and fourth graders return. On Thursday, the 29th, our fifth graders return. And don't forget that on Friday, October 30th, we don't have school. We get to chill and the teachers have to work. Sorry teachers. We next want to remind our families about the school supply lists. They are available online. Just go to the link on your screen. Remember, school supplies are only required for the students who are coming to FME for in-person learning. Next up, we have technology news. Families, please don't forget to fill out a tech help form if you are having trouble with technology. The web address is on your screen. The FME Tech Hospital is open today from 8 a.m. to 12 noon. Also in technology news, we want to remind all teachers to fill out the technology survey that was sent on email. If you have any questions, please talk with our new amazing tech coach, Mr. Jimenez. And I have a message from our former amazing tech coach and new librarian, Mr. Ryan. Hey, why are you crying? That's right, library classes are canceled this week. It's okay, we will have many more opportunities for library class this year. Teachers, don't forget to fill out your Eagle Tech tickets for help with the front row system in the classrooms. Here is the QR code that you can scan. And here is the link if you need it. Hey everyone, do you remember our FME Eagles chant? Let us show you. Hey Eagles, how do we fly? Respectful, responsible, safe, and kind. An eagle heart and an eagle mind. What about our PBIS safety poster? Do you remember the three safety guidelines? Here are some of the clips that we shared for our FME families. I'm gonna show you how you wash your hands. First, get some soap. Now scrub it and count to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 
17, 18, 19, 20. Now open the water. And we're done. Always need to grab your mask and, and grab it from the side and put it Get it from the stinks and put it back here. By your nose and by your mouth. Remember in English to open your wings. Have space and bye. Good morning, Eagles. Mr. Ryan here. I am so excited to share a bunch of birthdays. Today, we have Joyce Vela and Aiden Martinez. Very happy birthday to you guys. And then this weekend, we have some birthdays. On Saturday, we have Valentina Arvilla, Erin Cardiel, and Caleb Roa. They're all first graders celebrating a birthday on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we've got one Eagle birthday. Very happy birthday to Nathan Rodriguez. <laughs> and celebrating his 21st birthday, we've got our amazing head custodian, Mr. Javier Barragan. So happy birthday to you, Mr. Barragan. Thank you for everything you do for Frank Macias. Hey, Sophia, I have a math puzzle for you to solve. I'm a mystery number. Are you ready to put your math skills to work? Of course I'm ready. I love math. Here we go. First code, I'm an even number. My value is greater than 90 and less than 100. If you divide me in half, you get... 49. If you subtract me from 100, you get difference of 2. What number am I? Even number. Greater than 90 and less than 100. Divide me in half and get 49. Subtract me from 100, difference of 2. 98? That's right, Sophia. The mystery number is 98. 98%! Here's Mr. V. Alba with more details about attendance. Hey guys, this is Mr. V, and I'm going to go ahead and review your attendance for the week. If you look at our graphs on Monday, we didn't even make the graph. We were at 93%. But the good thing is on Tuesday, it went up to 95%. And on Wednesday, we went up more to 96%. We still haven't reached our goal, though. What is our goal? That's right, 98%. So make sure you're here every day so we can get that eagle to soar higher and higher to reach our goal of 98%. Let's look at our grade level attendance graph. And congratulations to second grade for having the highest attendance rate for uh, Wednesday. They were at 99%. That's awesome, second grade. And third grade, congratulations, you met the 98%. All the other grade levels, we need to do a little bit better. And kindergarten, what happened? We were at 92% for kindergarten. We need all you wonderful kindergartners to make sure you show up each and every day so we can get that bar up there. So let's take a look at where we are on our free dress incentive. Now, Mr. Ryan was at the beach a little too long and he got a little too much sun. I think he misunderstood the contest. So we are going to award free dress on Monday for first, second and third grade for getting 98% on the first day of the contest. Now, in order to get your next free dress day, you need to spell the phrase down at the bottom. We got it. 
So we have a W for first, second, and third grade. And for meeting the attendance on Wednesday, second and third grade now have the E. So we have we for second, we for third, and we have a W for first grade. All the other grade levels, we're still waiting for your letter, but don't worry. Hopefully today or tomorrow is your day. Parents and students, we are going to be organizing another distribution day so that way you can pick up more materials, especially for those of you that are going to be staying at home. So we're going to do it a little bit differently this time. We are going to have to do it by grade levels because the teachers are going to be sending home more supplies. So there is one slight change. Pre-K is actually going to be doing their distribution today. So if you have a pre-K student, please come by the school today and our lovely pre-K aides will help you out. Starting next week on Tuesday, we're going to have packages ready for kindergarten. On Wednesday, we will have it for our first and second graders. On Thursday, our third and fourth graders. And on Friday, we'll have our fifth graders, our SPED units, and for anybody that didn't get a chance to pick up, stay tuned, or excuse me, tune into your class dojo with your teacher for more information on the scheduled pickups. And one more reminder that Miss Lopez will be hosting Coffee with the Principal next Tuesday at 8.30. She has a lot of wonderful information about what's going on in the school. So parents, make sure that you join us on Tuesday at 8.30. The link will be posted on Class Dojo so that you can join us. And we will be hosting Open House virtually this year on next Thursday, October 22nd, from 3.30 to 6.30. Please tune into Class Dojo again. Your teacher, your child's teacher will be sending you a link so that you can join them. And then later on, you can meet with them personally so you can find out the progress of your child. Speaking of progress, next week, we will also be administering the MAP Growth Assessment. I did post some information on it on Class Dojo. Kinder and Kinder through fifth will start on Monday. Then kinder through fifth will test again on Tuesday. Starting on Wednesday, we will be have our second through fifth graders testing. And on Thursday, only our fifth graders. It's important that all students log on and are on with their teacher at 9 a.m. in order to be administered the assessment. And that's all the announcements I have. Now back to our wonderful SNS girls. This concludes today's news. Make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons below. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Ian and I will be back on Monday.